We begin tonight in northeast Santa Maria, where just more than a month ago, we told you about a proposal for a 200 plus unit housing development. Last night, the city's planning commission invited people living nearby to weigh in on the project. KSBY's Jacob Dizon has details on their concerns. Some longtime Santa Maria seniors I spoke with told me they've seen the size of this town more than triple, giving them mixed feelings about the proposed Paradiso housing development on the corner of Main Street and Sway Road. I don't know how I feel about it. I'm a little concerned about the traffic. We used to not have a whole lot of people here, and now it's just grow more and more and more. Sherry Grant lives just a few steps away from the proposed housing development that the city says would include 90 two-story duplex units and a 150-unit three-story senior living complex. So the concept was initially uh, brought before the city council for their review. Uh, the direction from the City Council was to work with the Planning Commission. In turn, Thursday evening, the City of Santa Maria invited neighbors in the community to weigh in on the plans. I believe there were about 20 in attendance. Uh, they shared their concerns, they shared their input uh, regarding the concept proposal. Ng tells me the primary concerns brought up during the session included safety, a possible decrease in property value for surrounding homes, and general overcrowding. While Sherry Grant was not one of the community members who came out Thursday, she too echoed similar sentiments. So I know there's a need in Santa Maria for housing, especially for seniors and low-income families. However, the traffic in Santa Maria has gotten very congested most places, so it's hard sometimes for us to even get out of our driveway. June Emerson, meanwhile, tells me she will simply deal with overcrowding concerns if it means solving the housing crisis. As the city grows bigger and bigger and more people are here, that that's what's going to happen. You just got to get used to it. Ng says the next steps are in the hands of Coastal Community Builders, the development group that presented the concept plan to the city council last month. They can certainly proceed and submit a formal application at their own risk, understanding that there are concerns from the neighborhoods. As of now, there are no plans for a second community feedback session on the project. The Santa Maria Planning Commission also tells me that the development does not include affordable housing options, but they tell me nobody brought that up as a concern during Thursday's feedback session. In Santa Maria, Jacob Dizon, KSBY News.